Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add an interactive button to your video using Active Presenter. Interactive buttons, or clickable buttons are very common when it comes to online education. With Active Presenter, you can use these interactive buttons to pause your video, ask your learner to take a quizzes or show them another videos before they can continue to watch the lesson. These are only some most common interactions trainers often use. With Active Presenter, there are 21 different types of interactions you can use as you see on the screenshot. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the basic steps to add interactions into your video as well as showing you all the available interactions you can use in Active Presenter. Let's getting started now. Alright. Here you are the, the main workspace of Active Presenter. In order to add interactions, go ahead to find the Interaction tab on the toolbar menu. Active Presenter interactions are divided into three main categories. On the left side, you can select mouse click, keystroke, text box, button, radio button or animated timer. At the center of the menu are nine types of different quizzes you can use in your video. Finally, the advanced event and actions are the interactions that you can use when you want to have more control of the objects you added into your video, or learning courses. In this tutorial, I will concentrate on showing you about interactive buttons only. For other interactions, I will publish my tutorials later. In other to save your time, I have opened some sample videos that I downloaded from Atomy's homepage. Let's take a look at the first example. This is an example interactive video showing you how to create and manage a sales in Odoo which is a sale management application. In the first slide, you can see a start button, which is positioned at the center of the video. When you click on the button in the canvas and look at the interaction properties on the right panel, you can see that there are two different interactions in this button. The first interaction is to pause the presentation and wait for user input. This means that the video will be stopped when this button appear. Viewer need to click on this button to continue the video. So the second interaction will be on click event. Once your viewer click the button, something will happen depending on your selection. In this example, once this start button is clicked, you will be redirect to other slide which is named scenarios 2 in this course. You can also delete the interaction of the button by clicking on the X icon here. To add again the interaction for the button, click this green plus icon. Click here to add interaction. There are 21 different interactions you can select as I mentioned earlier. In this button, we will select go to slide. Now you need to select the slide that you want to redirect your viewer to here. These are the slides that are available in your Active Presenter project. For example, as I want the viewer to watch the next slide, Scenarios. I can choose Go to Scenarios. Let's preview the course to see if the interaction works or not. Here is what your video look like when previewing on a web browser. As what I've just created an interaction for this button. When I click on it, I will be redirected to the next slide, Scenarios. That's the most simple interactive button you can create it with Active Presenter. Let's preview another example. For example, I can add my profile image, and show it when my viewer click on this button. To add an image, I normally choose Shape Annotation, and use the image I want to add as a background fill of the shape. Firstly, I will need to add my image to a slide, and hide it initially. My image will only appear once my viewer clicked on the start button. Now I can add an interaction to the start button like what I've just did. In this case, I will also select on click event, and select show object at the interaction options. With this selection, you can also select the enter and exist animation for the object too. Again, preview to see how the interaction works. Here we have the same start button. When I click on it, my image will appear. That's how you can add, remove and change the interactive button in Active Presenter. You can play around with other interactions to find the one you need right inside the program. 
I hope you get what you need in my tutorial. If you have any question about my tutorial, leave your comment below. To download Active Presenter, check out the link I put in the description. Now I will show you some more example of using interactive buttons with Active Presenter, don't miss it.